Hi again, Ghosts and Ghouls. It's Taylor Terrible filming from my bedroom. So that's why the setup's a little bit different today. Um, you're not seeing anything on like the fancy cameras and fancy lights and the music and the creepy basement. I am just in my normal bedroom today, which is why my horror setup is here. And I'm also filming on my webcam, so that is why things look completely different and less professional. Wah, wah. Um, I was tagged by Rachel Reviews to do the That Horror Horror tag, so that's what I'm going to be doing for you guys today. And I'm going to link her video down below so you can watch hers either first or right afterwards, because we actually have a couple of the same answers, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into it, because every time I try to film this video, it craps out on me. So I'm going to try to make this real quick. <laughs> Number one, the first horror movie that I remember seeing is probably Edward Scissorhands. I know it's not really a horror movie, but um, it was like one of the darker movies that I watched when I was much, much younger. I was about five years old. And my mom told me, no, I don't really want you watching this because you're going to be too scared. And I said, no, I'm not. I'll be fine. And then at the end, instead of telling her that I was scared, I tell her that I wanted to marry Edward Scissorhands because I thought he was the most attractive person in the movie. I don't know. That's my type. Tall, goth, and handsome, I guess. He was adorable, and I love him to this day. Oh, so cute. So number two is my favorite horror movie of all time, which is hard. Um... I'm going to have to go with Hellbound, Hellraiser 2, which is also Rachel's answer, so I thought that was funny. Um, just because I love the Hellraiser franchise in general, I'll get to that later, but I think that um, the second one is by far the best storyline-wise, acting-wise, Cenobite-wise. I am a little bit partial to um, Barbie Wilde as the female Cenobite instead of Grace Kirby, I love you, Grace Kirby. Don't be mad. But I am, um, I don't know. I'm just a bigger fan of Barbie Wilde as female Cenobite. So those are some really lame reasons why that one's my favorite. But I don't know. I can't explain it. I just love Hellraiser so much. <laughs> Number three is my favorite horror movie subgenre. My favorite has to be, like, demonic possessions and, um, like, demon kind of stuff. Demonology? Is that... I don't know, is that a subgenre? It is now. So I am horrified of people becoming possessed, getting possessed, being possessed, all of the above. I'm convinced it's going to happen to me one day, and when it does, I warned you guys first, I might not make it out alive. So if I tell you that I feel a demon <laughs> coming on, if I feel a demon in my system, you guys have to help me out, okay? you got to promise me that. Promise. You have to tell me that you promise, okay? Thank you. Um, number four, the subgenre that scared me most, I'm going to have to say body horror, any type of like modification that people end up with to their bodies, like werewolf movies where you're watching them morph into stuff or the fly where it's just that, gr ugh, that throw up scene in the fly though. No. Um, I would say, yeah, anything where people are becoming other things just really grosses me out. A lot. Like, I have nightmares about it. It's, I feel like my limbs are going to come off while I'm sleeping. It's just not, it's not a good time for me at all. Um, let's see. Number five, the last movie that actually scared me is Sinister, as usual. I know that I talk about Sinister to you guys all the time, but it's definitely one of the scariest movies I've ever seen. And it, I, I don't know, that's the most recent one to scare me, like, really bad. I just don't really have another one. I, I've seen films that have, like, disturbed me, and they've freaked me out a little bit, but nothing's really scared me like Sinister has. And in honor of that, I wanted to show you guys this cool thing that I got at a horror convention a couple months ago out here on Long Island, where I am. This is a giant painting of the ghouls from my house. I'm so excited. I am so excited to hang this up and scare everyone that comes over. Do you love him? I love him. I actually, I don't have the artist's name because they told me that this was the only one that they made. They were doing like a paint along kind of thing and they decided on Bagul and I got the one that the instructor made. So there's like no signature or anything on it, which I'm a little sad about. But um, yeah, I have a one of a kind Bagul painting. Awesome. <laughs> ah, 
Ultimate Screen Queen, Jamie Lee Curtis. No questions at all about that one. Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween is classic and beautiful and perfect and amazing, and I don't have anything else to say about that. So there you go. Favorite Scream Queen. Squeak. Scream Queen. Lord. <laughs> a concept that I'd like to see in horror, like a cheesy 80s slasher style high school horror movie. Um, I've actually thought about this quite a few times, and no one's ever really made the film that I'm looking for, but think serial killer breaking into a high school and, like, murdering kids in the library with, like, this really cheesy tagline, like, quiet, this is a library, even though I think I stole that from all that. Um, I don't know. Did you guys watch all that? Were you from the 90s? That's awesome if you were. I love all that. Anyway... I think that that would be really fun, and it wouldn't necessarily be terrifying, but I would want someone like Troma to pick it up and do it and make it, like, really horrendously cheesy. Can we do that? Can some Lloyd Kaufman, can you make this horror movie, please? Let me know. You can cast me in it. It'll be great. I'll be the next Jamie Lee Curtis. Ha ha. Very funny, Taylor. Um, let's see. Number eight. We're almost done, you guys. I'm sad. This is fun. Uh, favorite on-screen kill, this is also the same as Rachel's, this is the Jesus Wept scene from Hellraiser, because who wouldn't want to watch Uncle Frank wearing someone else's skin get torn apart to shreds by the Cenobites? It's really hard to say that that's not your favorite on-screen kill if you've seen it. If that's not your favorite, then you've probably never seen Hellraiser. So, that's all I have to say about that. Number nine, favorite horror franchise, Hellraiser, duh. Could you imagine I was like, I don't know, um, Nightmare on Elm Street, with all of this Puppet Master, Puppet Master, oh my god, with all this Hellraiser stuff behind me. I do have a lot of Puppet Master stuff also, right up here, and then this big cork board behind me is a Puppet Master poster, so I am very partial to the series. I'd like to do a retrospective on those one day. But it doesn't beat out Hellraiser for me. I am all about my Cenobites and my Pinhead forever. Um, and, oh, this is the last one. Okay. Darn it. My favorite horror director, I was going to say either Clive Barker or, like, Wes Craven, because they're just so classic, especially Wes Craven, who, rest in peace, I miss you. But, um... Honestly, right now, I'm going to kind of go in a different direction and say that I am absolutely loving Michael Doherty right now. He is a genius, and I love him. And for those of you that don't know, he just directed um, Krampus, which I would like to do a review of sometime soon. If you read it on my blog already, you know how I felt about it. But he also directed Trick or Treat, which I clearly enjoy quite a bit because I have my Sam bust right here. So I, it's pretty easy to see that he is, like, really a force to be reckoned with in horror. He is a genius, and everything he does is good. Um, Michael Doherty, you are a bro. I love you. You are the coolest guy. Guys, go see Krampus. I, oh, go see Krampus, please. Please, go see it, please. They're not even, like, paying me to tell you this. You just need to see it. And I will review it later, like I said. Anyway, those were all of the questions, so that was the That Horror Whore tag, and if you like these kind of, like, impersonal um, videos like this, if you're trying to, I don't know, find out who I really am as a horror fan, let me know that you like these, because I am more than happy to do some more of these. This was really fun, actually. Um, yeah, so until next time, you guys, stay spooky. I'll see you soon.